Metals achieve corrosion resistance by two mechanisms. The first is that they can form what they call an active corrosion film. That is, that as they start to corrode, they build up a layer of corrosion product on the surface that minimizes the in influx of oxygen into the metal. Now, this, as this film builds up, it builds up to a certain level, and it's called active because some of the outside of the film constantly sloughs off, and as the active film continues to develop, it consumes the metal. Therefore, things like copper and carbon steel, they develop either a green layer on top for copper or a red layer on top for carbon steel, and over time, they disappear. Why? Because it's an active corrosion film and it eventually... Material. Now, the second way of forming corrosion resistance is through a passive layer. In a passive layer, you build up a very thin layer on top called a passive film. Examples of this would be stainless steel, and we're going to concentrate primarily on stainless steel and the nickel alloys, titanium and gold. Those are all metals that form this passive layer. Now, in the case of stainless steel, you build up a passive layer that is composed of chromium oxide and iron oxide. And the way that we measure the effectiveness of that film is to measure the chromium to iron ratio, the CR ratio. Now, if you take a, a stainless steel like 316, let's say, if you look at the, just the base metal composition, your chromium to iron ratio is 0.24. To have good corrosion resistance, you must increase that chrome-iron ratio to something in excess of 1.5. How do you do that? Well, you do it through a process called passivation. The best quality of, of, of tubing that you can get, you will have that tubing pacified. You can pacify in one of several different conditions, or, or, or uh, several different methods, rather. You can pacify it by putting it into a nitric acid bath. And one of the specifications that Dan was talking about this morning calls out the composition of that nitric acid now, bath. Without passivation, your passive layer is going to be somewhere in that range of 0.24. It may go as high as, say, 0.5. After passivation, you will increase that chromium iron ratio in the passive film to somewhere in the range of 1.1 to 1.5. There's another passivation agent out there that is citric acid. Citric acid, well citric acid really isn't a passivating acid. Citric acid dissolves iron. So you take citric acid and you put a chelating agent in it, EDTA. That's what they put in Miracle Grow, by the way, to make your tomatoes nice and you know, green. You put in a pinch of EDTA, and that in turn then takes the iron out of the soil, and it allows it to become solubilized so it goes up into your tomato plants. Well, you mix a little bit of EDTA with citric acid, you heat it up to about 175 Fahrenheit, and you drop the tubes into this, and you let them sit there for quite a while, hours. And when you come out, you can have that passive film up in the range of five, well, four to five. So you really get an increase when you do that. 
And the high, in general, the higher the passive film, or excuse me, the higher the chromium to iron ratio is, the better the quality of your passive film. You can also develop your passive film by a pickling process. The pickling process in general involves nitric acid plus hydrofluoric acid. Coming out of a nitric acid pickle tank or, an, or a, a nitric HF pickle tank, your chromium iron ratios are going to be in the range of 1.5. So in general, the uh, pickled tubes will have a better corrosion resistance than an as bright annealed tube. As bright annealed tubes have the, have the chrome iron ratios in the range of about 0.8. Now, if you take that bright annealed tube and dip it into nitric acid and let it sit there for 20 minutes or so, take it out, water, rinse it, dry it, and all that kind of then, hey, then you're back up in the 1.5 range. So your, 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 your chrome iron ratios are high and your corrosion resistance is significantly better.